pair of AL clubs. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Texas Rangers. The MLB here on 2K Sports. American League Baseball coming up. The Texas Rangers trying to win one at home. Always a factor. Josh Hamilton, deliberate approach at the plate. That's what makes him tough to get out. Here with Steve Phillips and John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. This end of April MLB game. Starting pitcher is going to be Brandon McCarthy. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, this is a lineup that at times does struggle to score runs, but this is a pitcher for the right-hander on the mound that they can have some, some success against. So it's going to be interesting to see if they're able to put the ball in play and take advantage of opportunities. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. And Posednik's batting. He's leading off the game. Left fielder, number 24, Scott Posednik. Fouled away. Oh! Towards the middle. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. Here's how the Rangers stack up defensively. Highlight Steve for these fielders. Alexi. Well, Elvis Andrews is one of the more exciting defensive players in the game today. This kid has a hose of an arm, and he has great range to run the ball down up the middle or in the hole. And a runner on for Alexei Ramirez. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. That made it five in a row, and they'd like to try and make it. Swing and a rocket towards short. Gets one at second. And they get two. Great double play. Execution on that 6 4 3. You have to have body control around the bag. Great acrobatic turn by the second baseman. Outstanding job. And here's Paul Canerco. Just a one for nine last year off the Rangers here at the Rangers ballpark in Arlington. Base is empty with two up. McCarthy, the delivery near first. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. Carlos Quinton at the plate for two away. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0 and 1. It's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't protect the outside and the inside, especially when you're throwing your fastball down and away. A swing and a miss, strike three, but a chance at first. No, oh, and he got him. What a throw. He gets the play at first base. And Gary, as soon as the pitcher lets go of the ball, he knows what can happen in this situation. He's hoping his catcher can stop it and get the out in time. Great heads up play. There's a big two right there. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. Bottom half coming right up. Texas will bat. And doing the pitching, it'll be John Danks. He gets settled in for Chicago. Gets into this Texas lineup, John. Uh, what do you think he wants to get done? Well, not many guys this young in their career pitch so many big games, but John Danks is one of them. He's a dominant pitcher who could be a top-of-the-rotation guy, a 200-inning pitcher. He has a great fastball and a great breaking ball, and he has nothing but a bright future. Ball! They set up away. Cutter misses. 1-0. Last night, Rangers picked up the win. In the final tally, they won the series going three for four against the Tigers. Well, they say good things come in threes, and that's definitely true for these guys. Wins are definitely good things, but they don't want it to stop here. He went, and so now he'll have to rethink his plate approach with that bad cut. Here's the 1-1. Kensler gets good wood on it. Streak continues. That gets in. And we'll see Ron Washington's lineup here sponsored by Pepsi. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, as a manager, it's got to be pure joy to have a guy on your team like Michael Young. You just pencil him in the line. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it's going to be Quentin. Roams over, puts it away. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. And uh, Steve, individual John factors out there. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. 
He's a quality defensive player. And it's Josh Hamilton at the plate, one away. A 2009, the hit in the air to left center. Two down here in the inning. We're talking about the White Sox on the road. The adage of baseball, of course, 500 on the road. Well, they weren't able to do that, 36 and 45. Yeah, and a lot of it had to do with the fact that their offense needs to be a little more consistent. The problem with the Chicago White Sox offensively is the fact that they need to get the top of the order on base. They need to be able to create more runs with their legs. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. That'll do it as they put that one away. Seven pitches and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. Nobody's put one on the board yet here in Texas. A chilly night that seems to be getting a little colder as we play on and happy to bring you our broadcast on 2K Sports. And Beckham's in the box. McCarthy, the delivery. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was swinging a drive deep left center. And Murphy's going to play it. And he gets over to take care of it. Let's take a look at some of the rankings in the American League and really where the Rangers sit right now. Second in stolen bases, third in strikeouts, and they're ranked third in on base percentage. Knowing on base percentage is a real asset to trying to score runs. The more runners you get on, the more opportunities you have to score runs. And Alex Rios up in the top 10 in hits. Line drive. And that's going to be a base hit for Rios. Coming That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Oh, he's having some kind of season this year, Gary. Really the guy leading this team's offense and some kind of offensive production. Well, A.J. Pierzynski put together a pretty solid season for the White Sox in 2009, hitting 300. He doesn't strike out a lot. He's a contact guy. Lined up the middle, and he's up with it. And there's one. And they get it. They turn two. No strikeouts, but to talk about confidence, four pitches, three batters gone. Shut out baseball here in Texas. Michael Young leading it off. I've got to have some confidence in this one. Three hits in the game last night. Must be seeing the ball well. Hard grounded a short. Fielded by Ramirez. Though Young is retired. Let's take a look where the Texas Rangers ended up rank wise last year in the American League. Second home runs, second in stolen bases, and they were in the top ten in runs. An offense that was relentless, that ability to continue to put the pressure on the opposition and take pressure off their own pitching staff. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. The pitch hit on the ground over to shortstop. Fielded by Ramirez, and that sets down Davis. In the batter's box, Santa Lavacchia. Two outs and nobody on. Danks gets set and delivers. And that swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Second pitch waves at the fastball and suddenly it's strike two. Change up. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. And he watches one high, two and two. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the bag. Good hustle off the mound. And uh, there's the strategizing look of Ron Washington. Number 25. He's hoping for that offense to come alive sooner than later. And here's Martian. One of the best batting averages in the league. And that'll set down Tia. Katsay into the batter's box. 
0 for 4 last season against the Rangers in Texas. This one's grounded foul wide of first. Hot shot towards the hole. From his knees, he got him. What a play! Only way he's going to make this play once he stopped it was to make that throw the way he did. Even after the diving stop, I didn't know if they were going to have enough time to get him at first, but he didn't get to his feet. Throwing from his knees was the key. Two out, spaces empty. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing towards the hole. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. And they're held in check here in this half inning. Nobody's put one on the board yet here in Texas. David Murphy leading it off. Left fielder, number 14, David Murphy. Danks gets set and delivers to left center. And that's a base hit. Gets down in front of him. And he's aboard easily. That brings up Julio Barbeau. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. On the ground to second. There's one. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play, not quite enough time to get it. Well, they get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. So with one down, it'll be Ian Kinsler. He's off that one outside, 1-0. Well, so John Danks is a left-handed pitcher, kind of in the mold of a Mark Burke. There's a swing, fly ball down the line and left. Out number two. At Certainly uh, for Danks, one of the problems is, is learning to stay out of that too fat part of the strike zone. Sometimes he just puts pitchers right down the middle and really doesn't have to because he's he's solid enough to keep the ball down low most of the time. Well, he really is, and he has such great mechanics, too. I mean, he and Mark Burley, they're very similar when you watch him pitch. If it was just a silhouette of him, you'd think that it could be either one of them. Oh, there he goes for a second. Great one. And it's not in time, and he beats the throw. Here's the pitch. 1-1 one one, one delivery. A fastball taken for a strike. 1-2. and two. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. Fastball. When in doubt, that's where you go. On the ground to first. And that gets through for a base hit. Got to try to make it home here. There's the throw. And the run gets in. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to them now because they are fun. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. He deals. Shot towards the hole. Beckham throws on to first side is retired. First run of the game, third inning. They'll try to build on that momentum. The Rangers lead it one to nothing. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five to deep right center. This one into the alleyway should be extra bases. Well, Alexi Ramirez's season so far, let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third most in hits, sixth in batting average, and to add to all of that, he also is in the top ten hitters with runners in scoring position. That ability to deliver the high batting average and drive in runs where they're in scoring position is a nice asset for his team. And here's Paul Canerco. He's the league leader in ribbies. And he starts Canerco out. Line shot into center field. And that one is in there, his second hit today. Now Up next, Carlos Quinton. Right He's the league leader in hits. 
No outs and the corners are covered. Ground ball to Davis. The second, there's one. And the deuce, a double play. And so he comes home. That ties the ball game. Not the most common of the double plays, Steve, but well done. Well, turning a 3-6-3 double play by the first baseman, it's about the footwork. You have to have good feet to handle it around the bag. Now the first pitch. Strike one. McCarthy with a swinging cut. Spotted by Saltalamachia. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. Bounces up against the wall. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Dirt pitch swung on and missed. Not feeling real good about that one. McCarthy, the delivery. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. A run scores. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. AJ Statistics say that the 0-2 count by far is an advantage for the pitcher. But in this situation, he fought off a tough pitch and slapped the base hit. Great job on that at bat. Swing, and that one hit Hamilton. And that's out number three. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. Leading it off, Nelson Cruz. Right fielder, number 17, Nelson Cruz. Here's the first pitch to Cruz. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. One away. Now the State Farm leaderboard gives us a look at who hit the highest average-wise last year. Here's a check out of Young. He's number five. But here's a guy that played at his peak performance last year, Gary. I mean, you talk about a guy who was tough to get out. He put the ball in play, made a lot of things happen for this ball club, and he had an outstanding season. Michael shot back to first, played by Canerco, and he steps on first. That's the second out. Oh, he makes a nice play at first, takes care of it himself, goes over, touches the base. Here's Davis's first look. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. And that's the third out. That'll do it. So John Danks gets some three up, three down. There's a familiar face, Isaac Gian looking up. And they're probably very happy to have that one run lead at this moment. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. Strike one. McCarthy with a swinging cut. Here's the pitch. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Looking to build offensively off his last game. He had a couple of RBIs and trying to carry that into this one as well. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a K. That's a great strikeout right there, Gary. Three pitches, and he sits him down. How about that for efficiency? Nobody on base. One away. Here's the first pitch to Kotze. Line foul towards third. Oh and one McCarthy kicks and delivers. Drill towards the hole and that one falls right between them a knock. And that's going to bring Scott Pesednik up. One for two in the ballgame. Runner at first with one down. And the first pitch smashes that one towards the shortstop. And Andrus able to get that one. 
This ball is absolutely scorched at the shortstop. He doesn't even have to move to get the out. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And this is a fair ball heading towards the corner. All the way to the wall. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco. Last year, he struggled in these chances. Just two for 19 off the Rangers. No, oh, it's foul. Strike two pitch, and McCarthy gets him. Well, that change up down on the way is so tough. It's really one of those ones. All you can do is spoil it and hope to get the next one. Wow. That's it. Foul by Canerco. And Paul Canerco strikes out. Could not make contact. They get two men in scoring position. Couple of hits. Can't get them home, though. The White Sox, too. Texas. In the batter's box, Salta Lamacchia. He'll lead off for the home team here in the home half of the fifth. And here's the first one. That pitch is not going to be in there from Danks. Now the 1 0 pitch. That's swung on and a liner here. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. That's going to bring up David Murphy. Here's what the White Sox schedule looks like. This Texas series ending on Thursday. Following that, they'll have a road series to play the Yankees and their premier star, Derek Jeter, another division leader. That'll be a three-game series. Continuing on, they'll square off against some good competition. The Kansas City Royals. He had a single in his last time up. No one out and a runner on first. And the first pitch. Liner towards the hole. And there's one. And they turn the double play. Look, here we talk a lot about how important defense is to a team's success. That's living proof right there. And you keep this one in mind because it's an inning offensively that didn't happen. And Bourbon settles in. Two outs and nobody on. Danks gets set and delivers. Beckham. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So no runs on one hit, and nobody left on. The White Sox, two. Texas, one. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. Swung on and ripped towards second. And the catch by Kinsler. That's an atom ball right there. That ball was smoked. He stung it, but right at the second baseman. And Beckham's in the box. You talk about Gordon Beckham and the fact that in his rookie season he hit 270 in 2009. That tells you that this kid has a lot of discipline at the plate. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. And he's in at second with a double, 1 0. Beckham uh, made his debut in June, and it certainly didn't take long for him to be recognized around the majors. Which certainly did, and you talk to White Sox personnel, and they think that he could be a guy that they can build a team around. And Alex Rios up. And one of the top 10 averages right now. And he starts Rios up. Curveball swung on and missed. Now it's 0 1. Well, he's getting the job done this year, no question about it. Such production, so consistent. Towards center field, and Hamilton's going to play it. And he grabs it in his tracks. Now, now a look at the standings in the Western Division as we get through the first month of the season. It's brought to you by State Farm. First place, the Angels. Mariners in second place. In third, the Rangers. And in the fourth spot, the A's. Now, showdown moment in this game right now, Gary, with A.J. Brzezinski coming to the plate. He loves these sorts of situations. We'll see if he can get it done right here. Now a swing and a ball hit well. Deep to right field. Way back there. 
Gone! A two-run homer. A little distance now, increasing their lead one to three. One swing of the bat, two RBIs, chances of winning improve. A look at our Pepsi WPA chart. He went with a four seamer, and I don't know if there's any seams left on that one. He took him way out of here. Now White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Base is empty with two outs. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Strike one. McCarthy with a swinging cut. And we, we talk about how a hit or a home run can be critical at certain points. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. That's caught. Side is retired. And they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox up three. It's Ian Kinsler to lead it off. One for two in the ballgame. Danks gets set and delivers. Swing and a foul straight back. That's a strike and it's 0 and 2. Kensler now cut that swing down. Well, Power was there for him in the game last night, hit a home run. We'll see if he can take advantage of some mistake pitches today. Swing and a miss. Three now strikes. Kinsler's gone. Here's the cutter coming at you. Number one. That was not a good looking swing on that pitch. Well, good at bats starts with good swings, and bad at bats end with bad swings. And I think he'd want that last swing back if he had the choice. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch. There's a strike from Danks, now 0 and 1. Well, that's a nice pitch right there to pound the hitter in. Tie his hands up so he can't drive the ball. Hit hard on the ground to short. And that'll retire Andrus. Here's how the Central Division race is shaping up in late April, courtesy of State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. In the second spot, the Twins. In third place, it's the Royals. Fourth place, the Indians. Then rounding out the list, the Tigers. Not a lot of expectations in Chicago this year, but the White Sox surprising everybody. Sitting atop of the American League Central right now and, and building that confidence level. And Josh Hamilton up. Well, he gets them walked a lot. The American League has him in the top five. Curveball, that's in the dirt for a ball. Well, it's all about patience and discipline, the name of the game. He's not afraid to wait it out. He understands the first strike may not be the best strike he sees. And Josh Hamilton swings and misses on that one. That'll even it up. Two for four lifetime against Danks. That one's drilled to short. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws to first in time. That's three down. No hits. Nobody left on. And a good defensive half inning. White Sox four. Texas one. And here's Mark Kotze. We'll start things off here in the summer. Number 30, Mark Kotze. Here's the first pitch to Kotze. Swing and a rocket towards short. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. First pitch to him. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0 and 1. Get a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. Strike two pitch and McCarthy gets him. Spotted by Santa La Macchia. And it goes foul. Lined right at the second baseman. That's one. 
And there's the second out of double play. That Keystone area can get a little rusty if they turn on the double play. Like the, just the way they draw it up. Great pivot by the shortstop. Out of the mound, we've got Chris Ray. The Rangers bring him in to relieve. Pretty good performance today by the starter. All in all, pretty solid outing. Now it's up to the pen. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He had a season average of 182 last year against the Rangers here in Arlington. Hit sharply down the line. He throws in time for the up. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Stretch time in Arlington. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball, I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crump. And the first pitch. Swings at that first delivery. Curveball by him on one. Oh, nine outs to go right now and, and leading by three. I mean, I think you have to start throwing strikes. Just go at the hitters. Force them to put in play. Do not give them free passes. Danks gets set and delivers. Line drive. Retiring Cruz. And it's going to be a good weekend. Starting on Saturday, the White Sox are playing away from Chicago. They face the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. Game time is 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 Pacific. Well, I guess, look, if you and John are going to be at that one, I want to go do that game, too, because that looks like it's going to be a good one. One away. Michael Young gets set. Well, if, if there's one thing that Michael Young would like to improve on in 2010, it's the fact that he only stole eight stolen bases. This is a guy who can steal. A line drive towards short. So Young is retired. And Chris Davis to bat. He flew out his last time up. Aces empty and two down. Two outs and nobody on. Here's Davis's first look. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Oh. Well, they need a big two-out rally right here. Try to see if you can't reduce this three-run lead a little bit. Leave yourself something to do in the eighth. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And it's in there, base hit. Well, late in the game and you're behind by a few runs, you're going to need base runners and a two-out base hit right here. This team needs to string a few more together if they want to try to tie this one up. In the batter's box, Santa Lamacchia had a base hit his last time up. And here's the first one. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. That is in. It's going to bring the tying run to the plate. State Farm takes a look at the lineups with a pop in their bat from last season. Number one, the Yankees. The Red Sox second. Third spot, the Rangers. The Angels fourth. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. The well, slugging percentage plays a key Swing and a drive, deep left center. And there's the third out. Save your arm, do it by pitching only eight times in one inning, three outs. The White Sox still ahead. And Paul Canerco to lead it off. First baseman, number 14, Paul Canerco. And he starts Canerco out. There's a swing and a line drive. Oh. Foul ball. He just couldn't keep it fair. Here's the pitch. Strike two. No balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, that's some kind of pitch, and you set up the target on the outside corner, and he paints the black with it. Awfully tough when you have that kind of location. Well, a good, great confidence right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? That's a great job of finishing off the batter. And swung on, lined over the first baseman's head, and it falls in. Hitting streak continues. Now oh, breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also first in on-base percentage. That knack of getting on base, 
better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. At the belt, Ray kicks and throws. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Here's a swing and a line drive. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Runners on first and second with one out. And he starts Rios out. Hit sharply towards the hole. Gets one at second. And that's two. A double play. Well, that was a quick inning right there. Seven pitches. And here are the Rangers. Bottom half of the eighth inning. And Borbone settles in. He's going to lead off the home half of the eighth. Number 29, Julio Borbone. And we'll get to see Tony Pena pitching. The White Sox turning to a reliever here. Well, if you can get a start like this every time out from your starting pitcher, you're going to take it. He kept you in the ball game, pitched pretty well, and now turns it over to the bullpen. Here's the first pitch. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Obviously getting late right now Gary and I think that from the pitching perspective you'll trade an out for a run at this stage of the game understanding that for every out you get you're closer to winning. Swung on hit. And it's through that's a base hit. And Ramirez feels the ball. Well, this is not what you imagine when you go out to make a pitching change. You bring a guy in from out of the bullpen, and the first hitter he faces, he serves up a hit. Let's see if he can get out of this. The pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. And Ian Kensler looks at that one, a ball to even. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. And two, they pull off the double play. A beautiful looking double play right there, a pitcher's best friend. That shortens the inning, shortens the number of pitches that have to be thrown. It's all about defense. Base is empty with two outs. Now the first pitch. Fastball too low. One and oh. Now listen, this is still doable from the offensive perspective, Gary. They're only down three. It would be nice to have a little two-out rally right here, pick up some runs, narrow this three-run oh, deficit. Two. But understand, you can still come back and finish it tonight. Just don't wait till the night. Here's the delivery. Swung on and a ground at a first. And that one's through for a base hit. Second hit in the game. 500 today. But well, with two outs and you get a big double right here, the last thing you want to do is get stranded. You got a little momentum. You got the pitcher on the rope. Let's see if they can take advantage. I Gary, Josh Hamilton at the plate right now in this big situation, looking to get the job. This is in the air, straight away left. That's caught. Side is retired. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. The White Sox still ahead. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. First pitch, here it comes. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. It's up against the wall on a bounce. Coming to bat. Well, this could be a start of a great inning for these guys. You like to swing on this and good hustle also to get to second base. Now, still three outs to go with the man in scoring position. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Line fair down the line in right. That's one away. Now the runner will have to hold it second. 
Designated hitter. Number Katze 30. into the batter's box. Two for three thus far. At the belt, Ray kicks and throws. Now swinging a shot toward second. And Katze retired. Well, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now, the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile, he got that one done. And Posednik's batting. A look at the lifetime numbers. He's hit just 198 against the Rangers. Here's the first pitch. And a ground ball, Young. Throws on to first, side is retired. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. And in the dugout, Ron Washington. Trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. Here's the pitch. Slider just misses one and all. Well, I think right now they're looking to get a couple guys on and see if they can't get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark right here. So base runners the key. Do not run into outs. Be conservative on the bases. You're down three. He watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike to and one. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. And now Nelson Cruz has a 3-1 count. Well, anytime you have a count 3-1 and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. Now the 3-2 pitch. Line towards second. One down. Well, offensively right now, you're running out of time, down your final two outs, and it's all about getting people on base and then let somebody run into an extra base hit. One run at a time, one base runner at a time, but start to believe you can do it. And Michael Young up. 16 ABs last year, six hits against the White Sox. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. Chicago is ready to try and close this one out. On the way. And that's a strike. Young's going to have to be very careful on this next pitch. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And it drops in for a base hit. Team leaders in home runs. How'd they do it last year? Well, let's take a look at our State Farm leaderboard. The Yankees, number one. Second, the Rangers. Third spot, the Red Sox. Fourth, the Jays. And at number five on the list, the Rays. Well, this team lives and die with the home run ball. They were one of the top teams in the league last year at hitting the ball out of the ballpark, and they seem to want to continue that in this season. They have so much power. Hit hard to second. It's scooped up. That's one out. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. The final out of the game, it certainly does not look very good right here. They need big hits. They need people to drive the ball, get something done right here. Hit up the middle. And makes its way through. The tying run will come to bat. The throw. And he is safe at third ahead of that play. Well, a big two-out hit right there. It's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. First pitch. Swing and a fly ball. And this might be it. And you just saw it, folks. That's going to be the last play of this game. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. Now for our Pepsi Clutch performer. No surprise. You got to pick this one. Definitely a difference maker in this one. John Danks. You know, a lot of times pitchers get really too hard on themselves, and they're their toughest critic. But I don't think he can find too much to complain about after this effort. Yes, he did give up just the one earned run, but his bats came through for him on the offensive end, and he took care of the rest. And Steve, they're able to put this one away in the record books. It's a good victory. Hey, anytime you can go on the road and beat another major league team, you've got to consider yourself fortunate. Well, that time again, thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball. Steve Phillips, John Crock, and the rest of our great 2K sports crew. I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks, everybody.